Hi Pisces, it is Monday, August 12th, 2024 today. So let's take a look at your tarot cards and see what messages come out for you today, Pisces. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? There you are, Pisces, the High Priestess. That is your energy. You're showing up here um, as your very first card here. This is your energy. It's very strong energy telling me that your intuition's very sharp right now. You have an inner voice telling you to move in a certain direction, telling you to go a certain way, okay? Let's see what this means. Okay, and then you have the King of Pentacles showing up here. And this could have something to do with what you do for a living, your money with the King of Pentacles. But we're going to go back and clarify all of the cards. If you're new here, welcome. Um, and then you have the world. I feel like, you know, with the world card... This reading's kind of similar to the one that I did like the day before yesterday. Um, it's like you're you're ascending to a higher level of a higher level of um, consciousness is what I want to say. A higher level of consciousness something here about your path that you're on right now is changing you feel it you feel like you want to do something else that's why there's a two here with the high priestess you're wanting to change something your intuitions telling you I need to change this and so you have the world showing up, like something here, it had, it's come full circle and there's a need to evolve. Okay. The next card you have is the Four of Swords. And then you have the Hanged Man. Your energy again sitting in the center of this reading, this is Pisces energy. You may have had dreams recently, Pisces, and the dreams that you're having, when you wake up, write down these dreams. They're going to be very important to you. Um, I see you having a very strange dream. All right, and you're going to wonder, what what did that mean? What was that about in the hanged man energy? It's going to kind of leave you feeling stuck. What did that dream mean? What does Pisces need to know? You have justice, Libra energy here. Something's going to come together for you, Pisces. What you give out with this new adventure that you're that I see that you're starting or there's a beginning to it here. Some of you haven't started it, but it's a thought. There's going to be an equal exchange here for what you're giving. You're ascending, you're moving up to the next level. And then once you get going, you have chariot. This is success all the way around. This is cancer energy and things are going to move a lot quicker for you than what you would have dreamed or imagined. And then you have the queen of wands. So I see once you get going, once you start doing this new thing, this new path, I see you having a lot of confidence here because you have the chariot first. You're going to reach some type of success, a level of success very quickly. 
and it gives you this great confidence to uh, move ahead. Yeah, look at the Knight of Wands to get going to, to run this new race. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Three of Wands. So there's something here that you're daydreaming about or that you're thinking about doing. <coughs> it's almost like you're waiting for the right moment to do something, Pisces. Yeah, see, look, you're holding back and waiting for the right moment, waiting for something to be perfect. All right, so let's set this deck down. You have the magician right there. You're trying to manifest something new in your life. And spirits are telling you that you already have everything that you need to get going, to get moving on this new manifestation. So... Let me just shuffle this deck here, you guys. Yeah, so there's something that is going through your mind that's holding you back. And whatever that is, it's a lie. It's something that you keep repeatedly thinking that's holding you back. It's... It's something where you're thinking, oh, this is not perfect. I don't, I can't do this. It's holding you back. But spirits are trying to let you know here that you need to get going on this. That you're already ready. And right now is the time. It's like a portal. This is the time. Why is the high priestess here? So there's something here that you do for a lot of you guys. This is a spiritual practice. The sun and the three of wands. You have the sun, the yes card. Go ahead and go. Quit waiting. The sun is Leo energy. It's not time to wait anymore. The ship has arrived. Whatever you're, you are waiting for, you've already been enlightened. You've already gained the knowledge that you need right now and you'll gain more knowledge as you walk this walk tell me why the king of pentacles is here the three of pentacles you've already built something accomplished something but it's only a three and on your life's path on your life's journey pisces you're supposed to be something bigger is supposed to happen in your energy and the spirit world is pushing you to to start reacting to this and so you may see you know like um signs maybe something's not working anymore maybe there's a lot of conflict here the Five of Wands next to the Nine of Pentacles. This could be financially. But there seems to be a lot of conflict here. And um, you're feeling this internal battle that things need to change. And the next card you have is the world. And you're right. Things need to change. There is a new portal opening up right now. It's recently opened up. Tell me why the world is here. Yeah, see, look, you're being held back by your mind. This is Capricorn energy, but your mind is holding you back. There's excessive overthinking here about this plan. Um, with the Page of Wands, this is a plan. And then you have the Six of Wands of something that you want to do that may be on the internet with the world showing up there, but something um, where you're wanting to walk into a different reality almost, or literally, okay? But you're very, you're very, very slow. It's like... It's like you're procrastinating with the world showing up. Why is the Four of Swords here? It's 
See, you're making a choice. The lovers is Gemini energy, but you're making a choice to procrastinate with this cat on the couch on taking a leap of faith, Aries energy, and to start moving or, spe or spreading some type of word, some type of information, some type of knowledge that only you can share with whoever these messages are meant to, um, to get to. You, this, this version of you, this fool's journey that you're on, it's very different from the other people around you, okay? And only you can describe something the way that it is meant to be described. It can only be from your version of this world and your reality that you can write this book whatever it is all right it's only your perspective you're the only one that can do this okay in your special way and then you have the hanged man which is again another stuck energy here of of not of not moving observing why is the hanged man here pisces do not miss do not miss an opportunity because you're up in your head look at this the eight of swords again you feel stuck in your head and you're in hanged man energy you're lingering around in something that is past energy, something that is over, something here needs to be moved up because you're ascending. And both of these cards, the Four of Cups and the Four of Swords, it's like you're, you know, your your mind is imagining things. There's thoughts going through your mind here, dreams, and there's this cup right here. Whatever this is in your mind, this energy right here, the Four of Cups, can literally be a missed opportunity. So don't let this pass you up, Pisces, because your justice is here. The universe is stepping in right now, and the universe wants to make things right, wants to make things fair, wants to take care of some type of Issues or problems that you're having in your life. Conflicts. And this exchange of energy is going to give you what you want. And it also gives to whoever you're sending messages to. Whoever's receiving those messages. It's an equal exchange of energy. Tell me why justice is here. The Knight of Pentacles, and you have the Emperor, Aries energy with the Emperor. Yeah, see, so you're the you're already the Emperor here. All right, so you're you already know the rules, the law to whatever you're doing, but you're just your horse is stopped here. You're not moving forward. You're not taking action. And that same message keeps coming out over and over and over again for you. You're being very stubborn here in the fact that you want everything to be perfect. You want everything to be this way and before you move forward. And all I've seen here is a lot of you suiting up, putting on an armor, like a metal armor, trying to protect yourself. But things change here in the future. Because in your future energy right now, Pisces, the next card you have is the chariot. So I see you taking action on something that you want here. And it's going to be very, very successful with the chariot. And it's going to happen quickly. Tell me why the chariot is here. This is the fastest moving card in the tarot deck. Yeah, see, look at what you're racing towards. There's something here that you're very passionate about. 
all right? And you are the only one that can do this in your special way. I don't know what it is, but there's something that only you can deliver and it's something new that you're going to be doing, okay? Why is the chariot here? The queen of cups. It's something that you've that comes from your heart, something that you're very passionate about with the queen of cups. And then you have the two of cups. And so the two is a choice. Again, this is a two, it's a choice. Why is the two of cups here? I'm just curious to see something here. You have judgment and you have the queen of wands. All right, so you're connecting with two sides of yourself here. All right, you're being... Okay. You're being called on to come out of your comfort zone here. This is like a reflection of yourself and you're being called, you're being handed the trumpet here to come out of the queen of cups energy and move into the queen of wands energy. So there's something here that you need to do, but instead of it being in the area of cups, you're going to be doing it in the area of wands. All right. So this is fire energy. The ground is shaking underneath your feet. And you're even looking at the, look at all of the wand and their energy here. The queen of wands is looking over at getting on your horse and moving and taking action. So there's a difference here between the queen of cups that you've been operating operating in and the queen of wands yeah there's something emotionally here with the queen of cups that you need to let go of some type of an energy that you're tied to that's holding you back Tell me more about the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is someone who's, you know, you've been through a lot of pain in your life and you're being overly critical of yourself. Okay, with the Queen of Swords energy. It's almost like you're, you're judging yourself or the world of something not working out. But it's going to work out. Tell me why the Knight of Wands is here. Ten of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands and the Five of Swords. There seems to be a fight here that you feel like you can't win. Alright, but you're not giving up yet. The Nine of Wands is here, so you are the Wounded Warrior. You're saying, I am not giving up on this no matter what. But... The Five of Swords is, you know, there's people throwing down their swords and they're walking away. And you're looking at something here that is ending in your life with the Ten of Swords. And with the Seven of Pentacles, you know, you're, you're feeling hurt. Like, this is not growing. It's just, it's not happening. And so this is why you need to get moving. You need to get going with the Knight of Wands energy. You need to get on the horse and you need to get going. Tell me why the Three of Wands is here. Why is the Three of Wands here? The Tower and the Wheel of Fortune. Who Pisces, you need to quit waiting. Okay, you have Tower here. Something here is falling apart, and it's going to fall apart very, very quickly with the tower. The Wheel of Fortune is here. It's Do not miss the ship. There's a new ship coming in, and you, do, you want to get on this ship. You don't want to miss this ship. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune.
the Queen of Swords. And you have judgment. Okay, so the the wheel of fortune it can spin either way. The wheel of fortune can go up right now, way up to the top, like hitting the lottery, or it can drop you to the bottom. And spirits are telling you here it's your decision, it's your judgment call. You the judgment card is saying there's the there's the end of something will you wake up and will you look at everything that you've learned in the past and accept what you've learned in the past and be ready to move into the future with all of that information with all of that pain everything that you've learned all of that knowledge are you ready now to take it out into the future because you don't want to stay in this energy here of something that is over. Like uh, the moon energy. I'm surprised I don't see the moon. Tell me why the four of pentacles is here. The moon is the fear of... <coughs> the fear of walking down an unroad, unknown road and you're holding back here Pisces but I do see like you could feel like I don't have enough money you're feeling a lack of something but you need to make a decision here because the four of cups again this can be a missed opportunity See, this, there's something here that you're ignoring because you're looking at something in your life that is disappointing you with the Three of Cups. It's not fulfilling you emotionally. And so you need to make a decision. I see you getting up in your mind about this and to take that cup because there's a new blessing. There's something that's going to be new and emotionally fulfill you more than what used to be. Advice for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? The Two of Cups and Temperance. Something here has been blended together already and it's ready with the Two of Cups. And then you have Temperance, Sagittarius energy. But the Two of Cups, it's a two, it's a choice. To blend do you see how on temperance card there's two cups being blended together this is ready this is fire and water these are two elements that have been blended together just for you to create this ace of cups and to take this make a choice make a decision to start walking down this new path okay it's temperance is here it's ready Knight of Pentacles, and you have the Seven of Swords, and you have the Page of Cups. And there it is on the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands, the new beginning that you're looking for. That you know, you know something here needs to change. And while you do this, when I get your advice here, with this new plan, don't tell anyone, with the Seven of Swords, don't tell anyone what you're doing. Just begin to move forward and start taking action. On this Knight of Pentacles, this horse is moving. So don't tell anyone what you're doing. Just start moving toward into this new, into this new world. All right, with the Ace of Wands, and it brings you to the Ten of Pentacles. It brings you to happily ever after here, Pisces, with the Ten of Pentacles. Every great fortune, okay, everything that you need, everything that you want. But it's time for you to get moving. It's time for you to get going. And I want you to ask your angels and your guides a question. Choose number one, number two. Or number three. Okay. 
If you chose number one, look for a sign. Number two, you have romance. Number three, in the near future. Pisces, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. And we will meet back here again tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.